We've all had those nights when we can't decide whether to eat in or carry it out. Mm -hmm. We want the fancy meal without maybe the loud crowd. JoJo's Family Restaurant in Salisbury makes this all possible. Their concept of family style private dining is perhaps revolutionary. Ooh, and they've got a varied menu to satisfy each and every palate. Delmarva Life's Katie Zarelli reserved a table for us so we can get a taste of this enchanting place. A restaurant in Salisbury whose focus goes further than food. Family, really. Um, just taking care of the family that's been with the company and, and taking care of yours. And JoJo's Family Restaurant carries out that mission completely by first offering a private dining experience in their sectioned off suites. Family style dining um, like you would have at home, but a little classier than what you can get um, around, but for competitive prices, you know, we like to focus on, you know, keeping everyone together, having a nice, calm, quiet, respectful dining um, evening out. If the kids get crazy, General Manager Jacob Wagner says it's not a big concern. You've got your own little section where you don't have to be grabbing them and pulling them back, um, back every time they jump up and try and run away. Choose from 10 luxury suites, each with their own character and charm. Other options to dine include the main hall, the banquet room, or the club room. JoJo's also puts family first when it comes to their food. They've got a varied menu that'll please any palate. Something for everyone, burgers, Italian, steaks, seafood. Every plate is prepared with top-notch products, entrees and sides. We always hit for the highest quality that we can get in our market and local when we can get it as well. They've got killer crab cakes, 98% meat, little filler. There's not a whole lot to hold it together. It's just, it's just you know, prayers and love. <laughs> you put it in the oven to broil and you just hope. <laughs> really the goal, it's actually not too hard to get the shape. You just kind of bounce it back and forth between the two, right? Okay. You don't want to pack it, you don't want to squeeze it. Um, it's just, it's, it'll break apart the lumps and everything. You won't sure. have a, an actual like good quality in your crab meat anymore. Gotcha. You just kind of toss it back and forth between both hands. You get your tray ready. You gotta grease it real well, otherwise yep. as, um, as little filler as there is in these, they will fall right apart when you try and wow. pick them up. And you gotta be very gentle when you pick them up and move them. And like I said, cup your hand um, under it. If you have a perfect round circle in it, you know you did it wrong because then you, you want some oh. lumps pop, popping out and everything. Because if, sure. if you have a perfect round circle, you probably broke apart the clumps and everything. Right. It's, it's not too hard to get the shape. Like I said, you just gotta be very gentle with it when you move it. All right, mm -hmm. uh, I'm just gonna... Yeah, about probably about the size of what you can fit in your hand, maybe a little uh, more than that. A little more, okay. Okay. And then just, yeah, gently roll it back and forth between both hands. Okay, here we go. It's a little small. You could actually add a little more. Oh, I went, oh, okay, I'll, I'll add, I'll add. <laughs> Smells delicious. Let's wait till it's done cooking. How's this? And that's probably that's about right. All when right. it starts kind of going from round to starting to flatten a little yeah, bit, it it's is, usually yep. where you're about ready. Okay. So you can just set it right on the tray. <laughs> I got nervous. <laughs> yeah, I probably wouldn't have done that. This oh. might make it fall apart when you pull it out of the oven, but you know, we'll try. We'll there we try. go. So um, I guess we can get these in the oven and see what comes out. Can't wait to try them. Everyone gets to be the chef when it comes to the salad bar, which when designing the restaurant, the owner said was not optional. He said there was a place in either Philadelphia or New York that he went and had an amazing salad bar and it was all these fancy pewter dishes and everything on, on this nice, beautiful bed of ice. And he, he ranted and raved about it for months and we're like, yeah, we're gonna do it. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Yeah, we're gonna, he's like, make sure it looks good. Another non-negotiable when it came to constructing the inside of this eatery was finding a way to honor locals who've served our country. They did so by dedicating two walls to veterans and by making special military glasses available for purchase. I always hear people talking about how they like, you know, seeing the wall that commemorates people. And I think I've, I've even had one or two people in here that had a family member up on the wall. People get the military glasses. They always love giving them if they have a family member that was in the, in the service or is currently in the service. They love giving them one of those glasses. They're really nice too. All proceeds from the glasses go to the Wicomico County Chapter of Disabled Veterans. It's truly a big restaurant doing big things. It takes a lot of hard work to make everything run smoothly, but Jason says it's worth it. When you leave after a good day and everyone was happy, it's just like you feel like you're on top of the world. This here is the crab cake that I made. This is Jacob's. I'm gonna try mine, uh, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I think 
I'm a pretty good chef, you know? Really though, this crab cake, he wasn't lying. There's really not a lot of filler. It's just so good. It's just crab and just deliciousness. So well done there. I've been pretty fired up to get to this steak as well. Medium rare, just the way I like it. Beautiful cut here. This steak is great. I love the way it's tender. Melts right in my mouth. Flavor. That is great. 